Now I thought I'd do a quick video on mashed potato. Now this is mashed potato, a little bit of a twist because it's got mustard in there. Now I'm going to use a little bit of whole grain mustard because if you add that to your mash it really just livens it up and it's a little bit different to your normal sort of mash. Now the reason I'm cooking this one is because in the background I've got a beef stew cooking away in red wine and I didn't add any potatoes in there so no potatoes in that stew because I thought I'd save it up to have this mustard mash because mash, mustard, beef goes together beautifully. Now what I'm going to do is just go through the ingredients and then we're going to start boiling up potatoes, make up the mash, serve it up all together. Now for making this mashed potato, just going to quickly go through the ingredients. Got me potatoes there, the ones I tend to use are Mary's Piper. But obviously, you know, use whatever you normally use for making your mash. Peel those, put them in some boiling water, salty water, and I'll say boil them up for 10 minutes or so until they're soft enough when you can stick the knife in and they fall off. Now once you've done that, then drain them off and then we're ready for mashing. Now once you've got them slightly mashed, we can add some butter, a little bit of milk, salt and pepper seasoning. Now with the seasoning, I've got white pepper and freshly ground black pepper. Use whatever you like, they're both good, I'm going to use both of them. Now mustard. For the amount of potatoes I've got here, 750 grams, I'm kind of estimating you probably want to use about one tablespoon, that's like two and a half teaspoons. But do it to taste, and a little bit less, Mix it around, taste it, and when it's just right for you, if you like it, hopefully your guests will like it as well. So there's all the ingredients. Now I'm gonna peel the potatoes, put them in some boiling salty water, and cook them until they've just got soft enough to put the knife in. Now with the potatoes, they've just come up to a sort of gentle boil there. I don't wanna overdo it, so I'm just gonna notch it down a level. Now what you wanna do is leave that gently bubbling away, keep an eye on it so it doesn't sort of overboil. And then what you want to do is leave it for about 10 minutes. So 10 minutes, come back, sharp knife, stick it in the potato. If it's nice and soft and slips off, then it's done. If not, you carry on cooking a little bit longer. Now with the potatoes, I actually left mine for near on 15 minutes. Now let's just stick it in. Yeah, look at that. Falling off nicely, beautiful. Now what I'm gonna do is drain off all the water and then we're ready to make up that mashed potato. So switch the heat off, go and drain off all the water. So I've got the potato there. That's all been drained off, look, there's no liquid in there. So that's good. Now, I'm just gonna start off with a fork, because I always find that's a good way just to initially break it down a little bit, like that. Obviously I've got it on a cloth, because I don't want to ruin the table, because the pan's still fairly hot. So we've got that there. Now, with the butter, you can just sort of, you know, just chop it up a little bit, mix it in. Lovely. We can get a little bit of milk. Some people use cream, some people don't use any. Now that just makes it a little bit softer, a little bit smoother. Now I can start using my masher next. That's what it's for. Might as well use it. Lovely. This is pepper. And also, got a little bit of black pepper. Got me salt. You do need you know, a reasonable amount of salt and pepper seasoning, because otherwise it just tastes really bland, even though you're putting mustard in there. Try and make sure you get the seasoning right. Now that's really nice mash. Obviously you could add, if you wanted to, a little bit more milk, just to make it a bit smoother. Let me see how it is. Hmm. I will add just a tad. I'd rather add milk than butter. I just want it to be a little bit smoother. Lovely, look at that, nice and smooth. Now the only other thing we've got is the mustard, so separate spoon. Grab the mustard, I couldn't fit the big spoon in there, 
So I'm having to use like the teaspoon. So there's one. There's another. Let's go with that, see how we are. Give that a quick mix, because you can always add mustard, but you can't take it away. Same with salt. a little bit more white pepper, a little bit more salt and also I do like mustard so I'm gonna have another teaspoon. So pretty much I've had three teaspoons of mustard in there and I reckon that is gonna be ready to serve up. Give it a final taste before you serve it up. Oh yeah, getting that mustard come through. And with the salt, now white pepper just seasons it nice. You know, if you under season mashed potato, it don't really taste that good. That is ready to serve up. So I'm gonna take my stew out, because that's pretty much done, my beef stew. I'm gonna serve it with some of that mash. Oh, look at that. Mustard mash, absolutely wonderful. Now, Let's just try and say, boy, oh, look at this. Look at that. Oh, that looks absolutely delicious. Mmm. Mmm. I was kind of tempted to go for the meat first, but I'm going to go for the mash because the mash is what this video is about. Let's try. Oh, that is absolutely mm, beautiful. And with this bit of meat, the two go together hand in hand. Delish. Mm, let me try that. Mm. I can't tell you how good that is. Oh, it's so good. Mm, the meat with the mash. Beautiful. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching my videos. I'll see you in the next one. The Original Naked Chef.